For the first time in human history, we have a strong probability of stepping onto the surface of Mars. This is due to Elon Musk's unwavering desire. The millionaire is constructing the Starship, a massive spacecraft that will ferry volunteers over the huge distance between Earth and Mars. However, because the mission would take months in deep space, Musk Corporations SpaceX, must devise a method to safeguard the passengers from the effects of microgravity throughout the journey. This is why SpaceX developed an artificial gravity starship. What exactly is this spaceship and how does it function? Join us as we investigate SpaceX's incredible artificial gravity starship. Whether you think traveling to Mars is foolish or impossible, Musk is pressing on with his plans to transport humans from Earth to Mars and live there permanently. This is the primary reason he is constructing the starship, the most powerful space rocket ever created. It will be adaptable to carry either people or goods. In some ways, the Starship is remarkable. It can carry more than 100 tons into orbit, which is crucial considering that many tons of supplies must travel ahead of the settlers. This will include mechanisms to keep them alive. Remember that Mars is a hostile environment that requires extra precautions. Musk must provide water, food, supplies for building shelters, gear for producing rocket fuel, and all of the work. The Starship was planned by SpaceX to include an upper and lower stage. The bottom stage, or Super Heavy Rocket, will return to Earth at a time of separation while the spacecraft will continue to Mars after refueling in orbit. Both faces of the Starship are totally reusable to save cost. The booster lands and is swiftly inspected and prepared for the next trip. Propulsion will be provided by around 30 Raptor engines. SpaceX created and developed the Raptor engines. After each mission, the upper stage will re-enter the Earth, with heat-resistant tiles shielding it from being harmed by the heat generated. SpaceX intends to build thousands of these starships and launch at least three per day. As a result of this, Musk will be able to easily attain his goal of having one million people on Mars. Of course, the starship is not designed for solo journeys to Mars. NASA intends to deploy the starship off its future lunar trip. The spaceships will land the astronauts on the moon's surface and then return them to orbit after the tasks are completed. The Starship is easy to make because it is just a cargo carrier. But when the Starship is supposed to carry people, problems start to arise. SpaceX won't have to worry about this on shorter trips, like to the moon, because it will take several days. But getting from Earth to Mars takes months, and the harsh environments the Starship has to pass through exposes the people on board to dangerous radiation. But putting shields on the Starship will solve this particular problem. But gravity is another problem that is hard to solve. It is an issue that affects astronauts who are not heading to Mars since they must adhere to stringent workout program while on board the International Space Station. Even this isn't always enough, as returning astronauts are occasionally stretched out of their ships after months-long deployments. You may have watched films with a space travel story. Most of the time you see a large spacecraft in which the characters reside or even battle and fire at one another. However, the narrative seldom mentions gravity in the spaceship. Travelers who endure whatever problems are at hand arrive at their destinations, depart, and walk away. Musk would love to have the luxury, but the real world isn't as forgiving as it is in movies. He must create gravity on the starship. To truly comprehend the magnitude of the difficulties SpaceX faces with microgravity, consider the following effects of microgravity on the human body, as outlined by Nietzsche Sintron, chief of NASA's Space Medicine and Healthcare Systems Office. Bone loss happens at a rate of 1 to 1.5 percent per month in microgravity. This results in an acceleration of age-related changes akin to osteoporosis. Bone density and strength decreases are more significant in other skeletal locations such as the pelvis, where much of the loss is recoverable upon return to Earth. Prolonged exposure to weightlessness raises the risk of kidney stones and bone fractures, both of which are connected to bone demineralization. Furthermore, research indicates that microgravity affects the capacity of bones to mend following fractures. Long stays in space have an effect on muscles as well. Muscle mass, strength, and endurance are all declining, particularly in the lower limbs. Astronauts are vulnerable to fatigue and injury as a result of changes in muscle function, the effects of microgravity in connective tissues, and the demands of varying intensities of activities. 
Exercise is excellent for minimizing major muscle atrophy. During extended trips, an astronaut utilizes a cycle, ergometer, and a treadmill with downward applied pressure to stay fit. Astronaut Scott Kell can confirm these things. After spending a year in space as part of NASA's twin study, he found it difficult to return to life on Earth, as documented in his book Endurance. Musk must guarantee that the visitors to Mars are as healthy as possible if he wants the Mars civilization to be self-sustaining. Otherwise, they would all perish and his plot would fail miserably. While well, SpaceX is the first business to have to cope with the harsh effects of microgravity in real rocket development, it is not the first to try to overcome the problem. Konstantin Tchaikovsky, who is considered one of the founders of rocketry and astronautics, made one of the first solutions for microgravity. He published a research entitled Investigation of Outer Space Rocket Devices in 1903, in which he proposed employing a rotating force to create artificial gravity in space. Since then, different versions of this idea have been proposed for space stations and habitats. These include the Von Braun Wheel, the O'Neill Cylinder, and the Stanford Taurus. Some designs, such as NASA's Notelius x space Station, which would employ a revolving torus to produce artificial gravity, or the Gateway Foundation's plan for a commercial space station or even being examined for development. However, each of these solutions has limitations that make them unworkable or incompatible with Musk's Starship. Some of them had unusual forms that make launching challenging, others are too heavy to be practical, while others will consume too much fuel. Small stars, YouTubers come up with a fantastic idea that would work great with SpaceX's flagship spaceship. It employs a system of three starships that travel in unison. A payload starship is flanked on either side by a passenger starship in the system. The payload compartment is filled by a truss that unfolds and deploys robotically, acting as the spokes of the wheel. Each starship will be launched independently from Earth, but once connected, the passenger ships will rotate around the reposition themselves and fire their thrusters to provide momentum to the wheel. Once enough velocity was achieved to replicate Earth normal gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared or 1 gram, the passenger ships would rotate themselves to phase inward towards the hub ship or the center payload starship. Those on board the passenger ships would feel dragged down for the duration of the journey due to the centripetal force caused by the wheel's revolution. The idea is explained by small stars. The gravity-linked starship concept provides a spin gravity that reuses the main engines, taps leftover fuel, and avoids impractical space construction and spacewalks. The GLS is basically a hub ship, like the hub of a wheel. Instead of humans and cargo, the payload bay of the GLS is filled with a truss that can robotically fold out and lock into place, serving as the wheel spokes. What velocity will SpaceX need to attain on the Starship to replicate gravity on Earth? Using spin calculator, small stars determine that the system must have a rotational velocity of 31 meters per second if it has a radius of 100 meters. This will give a 1 gram sensation in 3 spins each minute. Small stars predicted that by using the strategy, the starships would consume the least amount of fuel to start and stop spinning and prepare for landing. Of course, the passengers will still need to adhere to stringent workout regimens, but they will have a higher chance of arriving at Mars in excellent health. That is our video for today. We hope you like it. So what do you think about Elon Musk's revelation of the artificial gravity starship? Share all of your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Well, that's all for now. This is Big Tech Media. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.